Welcome back to the Talking Dev and in this video we are going to look into advance of text formatting strategy and that is with HTML. So let's look into what we are going to have. So in number one in our list we have formatting links with tags and then we are going to look at how to use Procode and Site and then we are going to look at how to format our code that is we'll use pre-tag and we'll see other uh, tag called code and then we'll follow through with a uh, list. So here we are going to look at an order list and order list. Then at the end here, we are going to look with a description list and other tags that come with description links like definition term and the description itself. So let's get into VS Code and get your, our feet wet. Before I continue, I, I noted earlier that I was experiencing problem with live server and it's truly something is wrong with it. It's not working like uh, it used to work. Problem that I'm having is because perhaps I'm using Windows sub Linux system and that might be the reason why it is not working like I will expect. But with that, I changed the, the, the live server, that is the plug that I was working with, and I installed this one, it's called the live server, five server. Actually, this one works like uh, PHP. I'm not so sure whether you've seen PHP or some application working that way, but we'll see how it works. And it is easier to use, nothing hard to do. Uh, what it does is it has a button down here whereby we are going to see uh, when we are working on that squad go live. So let's quickly go back and um, start our, our lesson. So let's create the file. We have, we have our file like usual. We use image to help us quickly create this boilerplate. And here we have it. Let's have our, our title here. HTML ad, advanced text formatting. So let's go to a first tag that we are going to use. So we are going to see the usage of block quote, block quote, if I can say it correctly. So here we have a block quote and then we have a site one. So uh, when we, you think about a block quote, you think of something to do with a, a, a quote and we have uh, our quote in the body section and then who cited that quote. And um, let's, let's have my normal quote here. Uh, maybe let's call it, let's use a paragraph in, tag inside there and say a journey of a thousand mile starts with one step and then let's cite a chinese a chinese we say these are chinese to do is it is that how we write chinese okay chinese proverb let's call it and then we are going to see how our new live server is performing so we go down there we go to live it opens. So this is how I was telling you it works like a PHP, the way PHP opens stuff. So I know it is our page is here on at module number one. So let's go to advanced text formatting. And here we have uh, our text we've used block quote and we have site. So probably you may want to use a small tag. We saw small tag previously and then Remember how it does. It makes it look like it is. It is not on 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 the same. Uh, it is a continuous line next to the site, and you see the site here is italicized. So if you want to use a paragraph tag, let's uh, use a paragraph tag there. And there we have the same format. If you are going to look at, uh, maybe you want to inspect it and probably want to see some things under the hood. That's how we do it, we inspect it, and here we have our block. So down below here, we are going to add a pre-tag, and a pre-tag, it's more of, um, we use when we want to add 
block of text that we want them to be unformatted, mostly in mathematics. And when we are writing code, we use a pre tag. So quickly, let's write a pre tag there. Here is a, a pre tag, and let's write some code. What I will do, I will simply copy this block code, code there, Control C and Control V to paste down there, and let's see how our server reacts. And here it is, it is unformatted. In fact, if you can look at, let me just close this one. Okay, here it is. So let's inspect it and see how it works. Uh, okay, one thing that you notice is, is that uh, as our paragraph text here in our block code text wrap the text, our pre-format tag does not wrap. Look at it. So the context, the content remains unwrapped. So you will use this more frequently when you are working with code or any other type of block of codes that you want them to remain as a, as a single block that does not wrap. It stays the same. I suppose you will see that more often when it comes to uh, programming, you see some of these uh, small. So let's go to our next tag. Our next tag, we are going to look at an order list and order list. So let's see quickly how we'll do this, and then I will explain to you as we go what is the difference between an order list and order list. So here we have an order list. And what we usually do when you write an order list, technically we need to add a list tag so that we can have order list. So that's how that's the structure. Now, what I will do, I will use image. You remember, we are, let me, uh, first of all, comment this code. So I've commented, I've shown you how to comment code. So I'm holding on Windows, Shift and Control and forward slash, and then it comments that code. So I'm going to use the power of image here, list, and then I'm going to put inside the list a P tag, and inside a P tag, I'm going to put item, and then I'm going to use that sign. So that one tells us to name. And let's make this list to be like six of them. Well, okay. I don't know why I've said six. And then let's see what happens. So we have our list. We have item one all the way to item six. And let's look at uh, uh, our HTML, our servers here. Okay, so here we have our list. As you can see, this, I don't know whether this is what you expected, but this is how the list, uh, ordered list, an ordered list does. Uh, typically, these lists are not in any ordered structure. So we start from the top or the end. They have bullets like the one you ha we have here, but we can change that one using CSS. We'll see what, how we do it. What, what we usually use, uh, with, uh, Another list, most of the time you use it more often uh, compared to other list, uh, mostly because we don't we do not have a specific order. And this type of uh, element you can reorganize them uh, without even worrying the order. So the next one, which is order list, it is written the same. So let's see. Order list, and then we use the same trick with image and then paragraph and then inside we say ordered list item one and then okay we we also generate five of them or six of them like previous one okay it just want to stay five but let's do it six uh, also uh, let me give it a heading and call it heading two Let's be structure here. Uh, ordered list. And let's use emit. I'm, uh, I just hold control and uh, tab. Is it tab? Hmm, the one that is long on, on your keyboard. Yes, now here we have it. And let's see what we get. So it's here at the end, order list. And here we have order list from uh, list item one or the way to list item six. You can see the difference. The other one is not ordered and this one is ordered. That will be the difference. So it's simple as that. Let's quickly add this title here that is heading two. 
add in two and let's make this one uh, an ordered list. I can get it right. I have this plugin. Okay. Ah, what do you, okay. An ordered. Yeah, I have a plugin that fixes spelling. I'm, I'm really bad at spelling, so I allow myself to do that. And um, let's do that. Here we call it block. Block quote. Okay. Yeah, just refuse. Block quote. Okay, and it wants to write it in capital. Then we go to pre tag. Pre formatted tag. And then let's have our head h1 i here as uh, advanced advanced text format formatting oh yeah double t so here we go we have heading one now we are starting to learn a little bit of structure. so the next one in the list we are going to look at um, our good friend description list so we have H2 and we call this guy description list. So uh, I suppose you've seen those kind of description lists where we have something to do with HTML here. And then we have something to do a little bit more of description of what that one it is. So we usually use a description list. So let's uh, try. I, I really don't have something off of the mind, but I will try to add something here. Let's see whether we can quickly create something. And then we have this, this description term. We have HTML. And then, uh, okay, description. And then we call the is an, an amazing. <laughs> hmm. Let's call it hyper hyper text markup lang language uh, language. Okay, I tell you this thing we call spelling is not my thing. Let's first see what we have here. So, uh, okay, we we have we are not saved. So here we have. So we have description list and then the description here, HTML, whatever. Let's use a, a, a small tag here so that we can make it look a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, that one we set apart. That, that, let's add another one. Definition term, a CSS, we've not seen this one. And then this description description and then we use small tag here and call it cascading style sheets yeah it's more like we are using acronyms here so here we have html css but hopefully we want to format this more more with some more structure to add into it so that is exactly how we use description list because we use the de de description term. At the end, that's what we covered in this video. So we've seen so far how to format links with tags. Okay, now this one we've not covered. Let me quickly go back to uh, our page here and quickly introduce that one. In fact, it looks like uh, this, this live server had been a trouble to me such that I forgot to revisit that part of our outline. So let's go to the A tag here and call it H2. How to structure, to structure A tags, anchor tags, anchor tags. Okay. So, uh, this, something, this something should uh, tell you something to do with 
programming. Programming is usually not a smooth journey. Sometimes we have these ups and downs. So, and one of them is you forgot, we forget something and then you notice you have to fix that bug. So this is was my bug. <laughs> I have that when I, I jumped to the anchor tag there. So let's go to the anchor tag. Okay, now we are at the anchor tag. What I do, I want to illustrate two types of linking. One is relative links and then we'll have absolute link. <laughs> so with relative links, we usually type them uh, according to the folder structure that where we are. So for instance here, we let's link the, 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 the previous file. So I simply go here and uh, trying to rename it so that I can, I can copy the text there. Okay. So, and then we do that and we, and then we say, uh, formatting text basics with HTML. So let's call that, I'm losing that one. So that's one way of writing relative, relative parts. And let's quickly see whether that one is working. So let's fix that one. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it has worked. That it's formatting uh, relatively. That's our 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 link here. It's a relative link, and here it is. If you you hover over the the link, you have that this um, link below the uh, your Google Chrome or whatever the the browser that you are using to test this code. You see that link a full path there. So that's one way of formatting a relative. A relative link. So what I do, I duplicate it. I'm holding Control D. So that the next one is just leaving it like that. So that's another way of doing it, and it still work the same. And because this one, this is a float element. What I will do, I will use a p tag here, and wrap it inside so that uh, each of these anchor tag can be on its own uh, line. So uh, since it's a full uh, tag, you can see previous three, they were, they were colliding as if they were next to each other, but by adding paragraph, which was, it's a block level tag, they are in different rows. There, so there we go, we have the two, and this one still work. Yeah, I expect it to work, and it's working as we expect. And then the next one that I want to illustrate is absolute path. So quickly, what I will do, I still duplicate and use the same. So what we'll do, let's copy our path here. Okay, go to that page and copy it using on uh, from our Google Chrome. And there we go, we paste that. And I suppose it should work as we expect, nothing new. So, uh, okay, has it worked? I can't seem to find this link here. Oh yeah. So right now it has forced me to reload. That's not a big deal. So here we have it. And uh, we have uh, the link there. That is a, a, an absolute link. And it is working just like the rest. So this one is working. That's a relative link. And that one is a relative link. So. Absolute, what we usually do when we are on the same server, we usually use relative link. And when we want to link outside, that is outside to other pages, we use absolute link. So for this one, when we are adding like an absolute link like that, uh, the best strategy is to add target. Okay, sorry. Target, if I can get it, and then Blank. I must. Yeah. I think should be blank underscore if I'm not wrong. And then let's go back, so that we can open it on a new window. So you can see what has just happened. Because I've set the target to be blank. When we cl you clicked it, it goes to another window. So so this is what a good way of writing your anchor tags. Anchor tags are strict within the same website. We we use. Absolute path and then anchor tag that's linked within the same page, we call them a relative path so that we can interlink our pages. So that is a more of an SEO trick. 
if perhaps you know a little bit of it so that's something that i can add in between of course anchor tag has more attribute other than target so that's something that we can look into documentation and you'll see how that won't work so let's quickly peruse the chrome documentation so let's go there and expand the page uh, so we had something like this one and uh, a tag yes it's the first one here that is an anchor tag so that's why i told you it was important it is very important to know your documentation so you can see we have even different type of tag even the one that we when we want to download something we can say we can put that one to uh, our anchor tag as, a, as an attribute so all these that you're seeing here these are what we call attributes and you can read more or about them, we've just seen how to use target, one of it being blank, and then we have self. The default is usually self, and then we have parent, and then the top here. Of course, the other things that we have not covered, including things like mark, uh, things like strike, as you can see, the same word, they are the same. Sometimes even you need to add something like a title attribute to uh, something like an anchor, so, so that somebody, when someone hover, uh, they can have that uh, a little bit of description. So these are things that you will learn as you continue in programming. With that, let's have a quick summary. We've seen how to do anchor tags. That's something that we had a bug there. And then we've seen how to do go quotes and using even site tag. We've gone further and seen how to use pre tag and code. UL was the next one and an ordered list and we've seen the difference between these two and the next one was the description list i've given an example of course we'll go further into the document with that let's go to the next video whereby we we'll talk more on how to format images and videos and use those advanced elements so we'll be a little bit away from text formatting so take care that video is around here